Had, I guess, how'd you, how'd you sort of review the season? You obviously start the season in the midfield as that sort of big bodied mid, got the Vic Metro captaincy and, and then moved forward and it took you a little bit of time to adjust to that, probably got back towards your best in the final series. Yeah, no, it was certainly, um, no, it was a good year overall. Obviously, each year has its ups and, ups and downs. Um, but yeah, no, I was really happy with my start, um, to the season and Sandy, um, started really well as well. He went 4-0. and So that was, that was really good, um, and yeah, obviously lucky enough to yeah, get to get the honour of captaincy in the in the metro, and um, yeah, got lucky enough to play midfield there, um, and obviously I had my ankle, which kind of hindered me hindered me in that um, at that time. But um, but yeah, that was a great experience to to be able to do that, um, and then obviously yeah, moved moved down forward, which um, I played a bit at the um, at the bottom like end of the year last year as well. Um, so I kind of yeah had the confidence and it was a bit more comfortable there as well which kind of um yeah and obviously took a few weeks to kind of get um get into the group but yeah i was really happy how I finished off the season obviously topped it off with sandy win the win the grand final which was awesome as well to captain captain of premierships obviously pretty special yeah 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 certainly tell us about i guess the the pre-season and and i guess preparing to be a midfielder and how that transition went yeah so i obviously sat down with with rob at the start um of the year and identified a few things that um yeah wanted to really knuckle down on improve, um, which is going to help inside work and that. So it was, it was probably just the, the physicality on the inside and, and using my body to create separation, win the ball that way. Um, and then obviously with my height was, was marking was probably another thing, um, around the ground. Um, contested marking was probably another thing that we'd focused on. Um, but yeah, the preseason was really good. Obviously it's a lot of running in it. So, um, you're just getting the K's up, but, um, but no, it was a really good preseason to really set us up. Um, this year we, we finished a lot of our games. We finished off the last quarters really well. We kind of blew teams away in the last quarter, which um, was probably a credit to our to our fitness as well. So um, yeah, that really helped us helped us win games, I guess, and yeah, win win them well. Yeah. Yeah. So and you touched on the ankle injury. Tell us about tell us about how that injured you. Yeah. So um, got it uh, here um, first couple of minutes against the Tassie game, um, and that was a week before the the Vic Metro started. So. Um, yeah, it was a pretty tough, pretty tough week and a pretty tough decision to whether I was going to play or not um, against SA, and I did um, play. Um, and yeah, first so I played, I played the first half, and then um, all the all the drugs and pain meds I was on actually cramped me up. So I, I was my full body was cramping, so I couldn't really play a second half. But that was it was still it was still great to play play against SA um, and that as well. And then um, it kind of hindered me throughout the championships, and I probably wasn't. I was probably right against when we played WA here. Um, kind of got back to close to 100%, which was really good. And then obviously um, against Vic Country. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a great experience to play Vic, uh, Vic Metro overall. But yeah, it was probably just a bit annoying yeah. timing-wise um, when the ankle happened. But I guess yeah, those things those things happen. And um, I was pretty I was pretty lucky this year injury-wise. I wasn't out wasn't really out um, too many weeks or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it was just bad timing, I guess. Did you re-injure it later in the year? Um, no, I was pretty good. Okay. Um, I was pretty good after that, yeah. So um, I was out for yeah, probably four or five weeks. Um, well, not out, but I was, yeah, kind of hit me for about that long, yeah. In terms of the lessons you learned from that injury and obviously sort of injuring the way you were playing, what did you take out of that through the champs? Sort of, you know, you weren't able to reach your full potential during that stage. You got back to it in the WA game. What were the yep. lessons you took out of that? Sort of moved into the back end of the season to maximise your football potential. Yeah, I think it was obviously just focusing on the positives um, instead of the negatives and the kind of what my strengths are as well. Um, but yeah, I think, and I was speaking to, to Rob Harding, our head coach, and he was, yeah, big on not just focusing on my injury and individual, but kind of expanding my horizons and feeding off my teammates as well and trying to be a really good leader that way as well. Um, so yeah, they were, probably, they were probably the two main things. Obviously, it was a pretty tough time with the injury um, mentally as well. So it was probably just trying to get back um like the confidence and probably the yeah just focusing on the positives probably helped that um in the back end of the year for sure will you touch on the mental aspect of it where what was that development on the mental side and how that work into your game yeah well it's probably um obviously it's just on, at the back of your mind the whole time so um yeah it was probably just learning to deal with that um and like like i said little little things like um yeah kind of feeding off my teammates and, and looking at it a positive way probably um, yeah, helped me lift my spirits and kind of play and focusing on my own strengths and that probably helped me play play the way I wanted to in the back end of the year, yeah. And I guess, yeah, how, how do you feel like you got back to your best? Were there any other triggers, I guess, you used to 
to get back towards your best. Obviously, you had that positional switch thrown in there as well. Yeah, so, um, yeah, the positional the positional switch, yeah, later on. Um, but, yeah, I was, I was chatting to... Um, a few like a few coaches like past Sandy coaches Jackson Kornberg um, Josh Burke kind of sourced out um, to them and just had had a bit of a chat with them and kind of um, yeah see what they thought and um, anything any feedback or anything they could give me which I think helped as well and obviously Rob was was huge he's such a positive positive guy and kind of helps really helps lift your spirits so I think I was just um, yeah chatting to a, to a few people that I kind of look up to so um, and a few players as well so that kind of I guess helped me um, yeah, in the back end of the year for sure, yeah. Was your mindset any different going into those last few games when you did start to play some better footy? Yeah, I think I think it was just confidence. Um, it was probably a little bit down um, and it was a bit of a tough period just mentally. Um, so I think I think it was like the main thing was just focusing on the positives and focusing on my strengths. Um, but I think it was just not overthinking it. I think um, just going out there and playing and whatever happens, happens. Um, try and play to your strengths, but... Yeah, I think just trying not to overthink it was, was a big thing as well, um, especially in the granny. And then, yeah, obviously playing that grand final and, and playing that final series, what, what did you sort of feel like you offered as that sort of crafty forward? You've obviously got so many so many sort of key position sort of players up there, that so many marking targets, but using your craft and using your forward instincts, how do you feel like you, you can, I guess, offer offer a club something in that position? Yeah, well, obviously at Sandy we've got um, like Kelsh, Arch, um, Lloydie, so they were they were kind of our key our key targets, which kind of allowed me to to play up the ground high and kind of use my running ability to to I guess be that link in the chain um, between mid and mid and forward. So it kind of allowed me to get up and kind of um, yeah lead and and just yeah drive my legs and kick the ball forward as well, um, take territory for the team. But yeah, also um, one one of my main strengths is below my knees and my cleanness as well. So that kind of um, I guess help, yeah, rove off a few packs and um, get dangerous that way as well. Um, just how I use it and, and the goal sense as well. But yeah, it also just allowed me to, um, yeah, I guess just direct my teammates and try and be a lead up, up in the forward line as well. Um, so yeah, they'll probably, they'll probably be yeah, the main things, yeah. I guess grand final day, tell us about that, that day in general and your role on the day, obviously we, being the captain, but also you know you need a pretty good individual performance. What was that like on the day and just sort of, how did you feel your performance went and just sort of built to what you've been doing throughout the year? Yeah, well, obviously, um, win the grand final was, was our main goal from the start of the year. So it's certainly, um, yeah, it's obviously exciting, but it's also, yeah, there's, there's nerves and, and there's certainly a lot of feelings and emotions on that day. Um, but I think, yeah, and Rob was, Rob was big on it as well, it was just sticking to our, sticking to our plan and um, just training like a, like a normal game. Obviously, it's, it's not a normal game, but you're trying to, stick to the same routine and, and prepare the same as well which will which will help you that way um but yeah I, I knew it was yeah it was a big game individually and as a team but um like I said it was just coming back to like how how I play um strengths wise and as well as a team so um yeah and obviously I love to yeah use my leadership and my voice and um positive feedback and that as well on the ground um to kind of lift the boys and Easton obviously they test us a couple times um start of a few quarters during the game so um, yeah, it was a real, it was a real. Te- they really tested us, and it was a real credit to the boys that we kind of withstood that that ongoing that I guess pressure when they first came out. Um, and yeah, we did well to kind of yeah absorb it and yeah kind of kick away, especially in the last quarter. Yeah. From an individual point of view, do you want to go into a little bit more how how you sort of review it? Obviously, yeah, you've played well on the big stage for Vic Metro, despite the injury. You did have some really really good moments, and obviously the final series this year and then obviously the grand final last year you seem to really step up to, to the challenge of that higher level. Yeah, I really pride myself on the big games and I love, um, yeah, obviously playing well and obviously you want to contribute as much as you can to the team. Um, yeah, I loved um, playing the granny last year. That was awesome as a bottom age. It's um, certainly a pretty pretty awesome experience um, to play with a lot of the boys that are playing the AFL this year. Um, so that was pretty special and then, um, yeah, Metro is obviously a huge honour and then I guess, yeah, this year was... Um, yeah, I think I think it's just a real opportunity. I looked at it um, as a huge opportunity. It's a huge game. Um, so if you can, yeah, play well and show a few things, it really pays off. Um, so yeah, I was, I was really proud of the way, especially coming out the last kind of month before that, I was kind of a bit down. I was a bit 
um, yeah, a bit, a bit of a tougher time. So I was really, I was really proud how I could come out and kind of show my strengths and, and that on, yeah, on the big stage um, that way. And you've touched on leadership a couple of times as well. Tell us a little bit about how your leadership sort of ridden through those those ups and downs of the season and, and how you sort of feel like you've developed as a leader. Yeah, well, I really pride myself on my leadership. Um, obviously, I was had the honour to captain Sandy this year, which which I really enjoyed. Um, and yeah, I really love. I know last year um, our leaders like Will Ashcroft, Harry Shees were awesome for us, us younger boys, and they had a lot of time for us. Um, they gave us a lot of feedback when we wanted it, which was awesome as well. So um, coming from yeah, being one of the younger ones, I love to um, help out. I guess they're, they're kind of our future at Sandy as well. So the young ones coming through, um, just how much time Will Ashcroft and Harry Shees and those leaders like that gave me. So um, I loved off my time that way as well, but. Um, yeah, I'm a big, big believer of the better the team goes, the better you can go as an individual as well. So, um, yeah, anything you can do to help the team is a big thing. Um, and then obviously the, yeah, Captain Metro was a real honour as well. It's obviously, um, yeah, it was, they had a pretty, few pretty good players in that, in that Metro team. So, um, yeah, it was, it was really, it was a great experience and, um, something that I really loved. Yeah. Do you feel like your future is as a board? Um, I like to pride myself that I'm pretty versatile. Um, I like I'm um, pr- still happy to play play midfield. I think I've got a lot of strength to offer there. Um, and yeah, so I, I think forward forward or mid, I'm I'm happy with. Um, I've played played in the back line before and on the wing as well. But um, but yeah, forward forward or mid, I'm I'm easy. I like to think of myself a pretty hybrid midfielder that can um, hybrid forward that can yeah go into the midfield um, when a team needs. Otherwise, vice versa, a midfielder that can go forward line as well. So. Um, probably slightly forward, but um, yeah, midfields. I, I think I've got a lot of strength to show in the midfield as well. Yep. What have you done to sort of build on your off season, just to emphasise the points that you want to work on? Even testing, tell us about yep. that, and what's been the goal since then, just to give yourself every chance and build on what you worked on in that back end of the year. Yeah, well, I'm out of school this year, which was which gave me a lot of time as well. So um, I've yeah been working with a sprint coach. Um, once or twice a week to kind of help that explosiveness, especially as a midfielder and a forward, you kind of want to have the first few steps to get out of contest and get the separation that way. So, um, yeah, the speed, um, even the explosiveness has kind of been a main, um, yeah, main goal to kind of get to. And also I've been um, doing gym um, at Pulse 8, um, which has kind of helped my power and my strength that way as well. So they've been... I guess they've been kind of the main ones um, and obviously I've got plenty of time so to top up my skills and that just little sessions like that as well um, along, along with with running, um, following different programs and that was kind of really really helped me and held me in good stead for the year. Um, little top ups here and there has yeah, been really beneficial. Yeah. And when you reflect back on this season in terms of what you've made yourself as a character, where do you think you've that biggest point of growth has been and you look back and say, well, I've left, my, oh, I've put myself here where I feel like I've, I show people this is what I am and who I am as a person and a player. Yeah, well, I love, I love to, it's been, it's been a huge honour to captain Sandy in Metro. Um, so that's been, yeah, something I've been really proud of this year. Um, but yeah, I think it's just been a great teammate to the boys and you, and obviously it's a team sport. So, um, you're playing with your, with your mates and that, which is something I love as well. So, um, yeah, you, develop lifelong friendships as well um, while doing what you love so that's um, yeah been something I'll, and I hope yeah kind of lived a bit of a yeah, legacy at, at Sandy and, um, especially um, which is yeah been something I've been really proud of this year yeah just touching back on the, the sprint coach um, element of your training that you've been doing how long has that sort of been a focus of yours in terms of wanting to improve that ability to power range drive your legs and stoppage yeah so that was um, last so this pre-season was kind of folks sat down with um, with Rob and that was um, yeah another focus was driving legs the first few steps um, so yeah I've been been working on that and that was also so not only working on that but then trying to show it in games as well um, was yeah consistently was was a was another focus as well so um, obviously the training element but then also showing it and having the confidence to to take ground and and that way as well to um, was another was another focus yeah between your ankle injury did you feel like you're able to do that. Yeah, I, I, fe- I felt like I was able to do that um, in a few games. Obviously, the ankle injury kind of hindered it, but apart from that, um, yeah, I felt like I was still able to show it at times as well, which was which I was happy with. Yeah.